Hi, this is Wade Smith with our Get Smart series. Today's topic, how do I make IBP calculate safety stock for only specific purposes? You can have a cool user interface and a sophisticated multi-echelon inventory optimizer, but if you can't accurately model your own unique supply chain, then what's the point? A common requirement in I.O. tools is to control those internal service levels or hold safety stock only for specific purposes. I'll cover three topics in this talk. Typical supply chain models, IBP safety stock policy, and use cases. Let's get started. Usually I.O. demos give you a simple supply chain model, like a linear manufacturer to warehouse, to keep things simple. But life is never that simple. And most people want to know if the tool can handle their supply chain before they buy it or try to implement it. Your supply chain may have multiple suppliers that could change weekly. Your customer service levels might be based on fill rate instead of a non-stockout probability. A manufacturing plant may have no storage capacity. Or worse, they only have enough storage for their own direct customers. Everything else is pushed out. IBPIO handles all those scenarios and more. But it's the last case study that I'd like to focus on right now. What if I only have enough warehouse capacity to hold safety stock for my own external customers or different product groups require different internal service levels? IBP safety stock policy is used to control these internal service levels and thus allows you to hold lower safety stock in some locations and thus more in others based on their constraints. The terminology may change between industries and companies, but you may have heard of terms like push versus pull. IBP asks, do you want to treat this internal downstream location like any other external customers and thus hold safety stock? Do you want to make them responsible for their own safety stock and hold nothing? Or do you want to do something in the middle that pools the risk and optimizes safety stock levels across the network? Finally, use cases. If you're new to I.O., then this might be a bit down a rabbit hole. But if you aren't new to I.O. tools and you've been disappointed by the level of control you have in modeling your network, this will ring a bell. Here are the three examples I talked about above. Identical inputs save for how the manufacturing site holds safety stock. You can also see how much these constraints are costing you in terms of inventory costs. Maybe that temporary warehouse isn't so expensive after all. Or maybe you want to know how much it costs to hold your inventory further away from your customers. Again, with most things IBP, an answer just generates three more questions. But at least you're coming up with better questions. I also hope you're better prepared for that next conversation on I.O. multi-echelon tools. Whether it's someone who says they won't work for you or your business, or they most definitely will. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click below to like, subscribe, or comment.